Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to kit up my little owl clock. Okay, so I want to get this done because I want to see how I can fix the clock mechanism onto it. Um, and again, it is smashing the specials for August. So that's what we're going to have a go with this. Um, it is only 16 different shapes, but I decided because it's 16, um, I want to just put it into some little tubs to work from so that I can uh, get this done. Um, I do quite often when there's not too many colours, just work into bags. But I thought with this one, I will just kit it up. Um, this is the 30 storage container, which is a little bit of a shame um, using 30, but obviously I'm not going to be using them all. So let's get these through the Xyron and get them onto the containers. Um, oh, I've not photocopied that very well. I've missed the end one up, off look, but I think we can still see the number 16 there. And we have got it on here as well. So I just like to have these so I can put them on the containers. I'm no good at being able to draw these shapes. So if you've uh, not seen this before, this is a little Xyron sticker maker. Um, you get your little cartridges, they're refillable. And you just pop your whatever you're wanting to put sticky onto through it. And then when you peel this off, the excess sticky from around the edges stays on the paper. And that bit just gets thrown away. And then this bit that's stuck on here is actually now sticky on the back. So you've made that basically into a sticker. And um, you can obviously just use say a glue pen or normal glue, but this just makes it easy because it's a dry glue. They're like little glue dots. If you've ever used some of the glue runners or the glue dots, they're similar to those that are just on the backs of these. So let's get this, move that lid. First dual kicks out the way. So let's get these popped onto these. Okay. So I hope everybody's doing okay. It's a little bit dull and rainy here in the UK today. Um, it's supposed to have been raining a lot, but we've not had a lot of rain. It is still very warm, though. I must admit, um, I could do with my windows and doors open. It's... Uh, supposed to have been a blazing August here but uh, July apparently was the hottest on record for the UK so we've had some very hot weather recently. Right let's get these put on here and don't ask me why I do these back to front I just always have done Um, that just seems to be the way I do them must be how my brain works. Uh, these are some little macting storage. I think they're actually bead storage or embroidery thread storage. But uh, they were just as good for diamond painting. I think they were a nice little price as well. So if you've got a little under 30 um, painting and you just only got a few colours or a few drills in each one, I think these probably hold about 600-ish. They're about half the size of the ones you get in your um, zip-up storage containers. So they're quite good. And I've gone the other way now, look, while I'm doing these. As long as I look at them before I put them on the <laughs> canvas, it won't matter. I'm definitely uh, mad in my old age, I think. Right, let's get these out. So we've got the clock mechanism there, all nicely sealed in its little packet which I think was brilliant, it coming in there. Um, so I'm going to say, I will do, once this is completed, I will do a video and we'll get this. So I'm going to put it on mount board, but then I was thinking if I use mount board, then it's going to have to be not too thick for this to go through, but then thick enough so that it this isn't sort of like sticking out too much from the wall. So what I'll probably have to do is cut... I'll, I'll probably explain it better when I actually do it, but probably cut a hole out of a piece of mount board to place that in so it just stops that being too heavy on the back. I know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to leave that in the bag, which has the label on it there, which is the same label as we've got on our canvas. So we know we've got the right one. 
and these are the ones with the huge numbers on look at these numbers i think they're just absolutely superb you can practically see them from space oh dear right so sorry crinkle crinkle let's start at number one and let's get these put in let's grab a tray first liz don't be oops that was a pair of tweezers just jumped out of there and jumped onto the floor millie's just gone to investigate now to see what that was uh, i can assure you millie it wasn't food no it wasn't any food so let's just get these poured in and i think i've opened the wrong side of the packet so that they're gonna slip everywhere oh 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 hey look at that managed to do it without spilling them yay go me <laughs> Bin down a bit there. Okay, these are the ones that have got the plastic lids that squeak if you're not careful. So I will try and not squeak them because I don't like the squeaking. It's like nails down a blackboard. <laughs> okay, so which way did we open them? Yeah, if we open them across that way, yay, then we get the proper pouring thing. I remember. Uh, it was one of my um, subscribers that gave me that tip. So thank you very much. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, but that was a brilliant tip to tell me. Uh, and when I remember, it's an even better tip. <laughs> oh, look, that one's on very well. Let me get that one put on better. That's better, a bit straighter. Okay, that number 16 is trying to get in on the act. It's slipping across here. And I'll double check my numbers as I go along, make sure I'm okay. Oh, Millie's now decided to have a sniff in my slippers. She'll be passing out in the mo uh, in a moment. I don't want to be smelling my feet. I have smelly enough feet to fell an elephant from 20 paces, I tell you. I've always had smelly feet. Oh, just one second. Millie wants to get on the bed. Sorry about that, I'm back. <laughs> Oh, look, I'm getting two numbers together now. Number four. Oh, somebody's just getting herself settled. Let's see if I can get a picture of her and pop it in. She's uh, just laid with her head hanging off the bed, looking very sorry for herself. It must be coming up to her uh, tea time. Or evening meal, as uh, some people call it. We call it tea around here. We have our tea between sort of five o'clock, six o'clock-ish. <laughs> so it must be coming up to that time. But she does like to be comfy. Okay, that's number five. These are lovely colours. All these aqua colours. Yeah, this is definitely uh the next one i'm going to be doing i'm finishing off an owl canvas would you believe i seem to have an abundance of owl special drills um and i keep posting my pictures on uh, facebook and um instagram <laughs> and people almost think she's got an owl obsession every other canvas is an owl <laughs> i've still got my owl notebooks to do yet as well oh dear let's hope all these go in here oh Will they all get in? Get in? Oh, just. Oh, I'm going to have to be careful opening that one. That's a very, very full little bottle. I'll just get those three escapees in there. Okay, so that's number six. Lovely colours. Okay, and this one looks. We've just got. Oh, we've got two lots of number seven. So we may. Okay. Oh, maybe we needed another pot. So let me just grab some stickers and we might have to use a couple more number sevens. So I'll do one for now and put it on. And then if we need another one, I'll do another sticker. Because I think we're going to definitely need at least one. Uh, sorry, at least two. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle those around a bit. Oops. Actually, what I'll do, I'll put them the other way on. Oh, anyway, I'll sort that out in a bit. <laughs> Brain's gone back to front. <laughs> uh, let's get these open. Oh, she 
closed her eyes now she's going to sleep so i think when i'm talking she thinks that there's somebody else here so she comes to investigate to see who i'm talking to and she's probably so disappointed when she finds i'm talking to myself <laughs> Oh, they're not going to go in there, so I think we may end up going into three pots. Okay, uh, because we are, I'm going to tip a few into there. And the extras of those. Okay, so that I'm not overfilling the pots. So, oh, I haven't put a lid on that, a label on that one anyway. <sighs> Lesson number 362, and this is how not to diamond <laughs> Oh dear. So six, that's number eight there. So six, seven. Yep, so we need to scoot these along. Look, these need to come this way a bit so that I can get these in here. Yep, I need an extra two. So that one needs to go up there. It's like playing one of those games where you've got the picture and you've got to get it all in line. <laughs> Making up, up, up extra games, look while we're diamond painting there. Uh, well, putting drills in pots anyway. I wonder what picture this is going to make. <laughs> okay, and then, oops, the last one. Uh, I'm pleased I've put these in pots now with this being such a, a large amount of drills for uh, that colour. Because it would be easier to manage pop that one in the middle and then that one next okay so what's the next one is number eight just to one side and this is the a b white color lovely like pearly color okay it's quite a full one as well so we'll see whether these will all fit in there's a little bit of breathing space in these though so hopefully they will do Ooh, ooh, oh no, they're not going to. Wow, I wish I'd used my bigger pots now. I should have used my uh, 30 storage that's the full size pots. Okay, so we need another tub. Okay, and put number eight on this one. Oops, now I've just drawn on myself. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Lesson number 432. <laughs> and we'll just add a few of those into there as well so it's not overly full. E, it's not going brilliantly today, is it? I hope your day is going better. <laughs> so actually, what I'll do is I'll shove that back away. We may need some more, so we're playing this shuffle game again. See where the music stops. <laughs> okay, that's number eight. Number nine is next. Oh, I've only got number 16 then. Oh, this is a, a teardrop, an AB sparkly coated teardrop. Uh, now we're on to the specials. You tend not to get quite so many of the specials. So they should all fit into the pots now. in there. Come on you little devils, get in. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to have to get this out off my hand. Right, a bit of spitting polish. Just get rid of my rubbish. Okay, so that was nine. So we've got number ten next. Oh, these lips are all loose. I've got these on. And this is the uh, half sphere gold ones, which are very pretty. Those in there. Yep, that's those two. Oh, they look really good in there, don't they? Nice. So as you can see, I've not fully got the bit off. I'll have to go and get some soap and have a bit of a scrub. Right, number 11 is like the white AB coated pearls. Okay. Put those into there. 
number 11 and number 12. Okay. be interesting to see whether these move about. Hopefully they won't because they are fully slotted in. But I know my other storage box that I've got with them tends to they moved out of line. Um, but these possibly will stay because they're a bit more solid in the containers. But we'll see. It's the first time I've used these, so we'll see how we get on. I'm trying to use different ones to see which ones I like best. I still like my silk cases, but, uh, and I still like my one um, that I keep my uh, wreaths up into, which has got the 18 colours. That's been really good. See another one of those i will definitely be getting another one because it was well worth the money okay they've all fitted in there that's number 13 and we're getting to the end number 14 the larger teardrops Stars. Put them all in there. Yep, that's those. And then last but not least, number 16 is these beautiful little lilac stars, which I've never seen gems this colour before. They're not the stars, so that's those into there. Okay, so we just needed those couple of extra pots we were uh, both spilling on just a couple of colours but that's okay we've got those labelled up ready and pop the lid on those to keep those together I may put a rubber band around those as well just as extra security for keeping those on until I pop it onto my trolley and that's the clock mechanism I'll leave that in my craft room for now until I'm ready for the clock to be made up I'll put that in my specials box, back into my specials. Oh, if you're wondering <laughs> why I've got a piece of washi tape at the top. Um, if you saw the unboxing, unbagging of this, um, it was this was actually um, a complimentary a free canvas that I got with a couple of others from One Day Saving. They asked me to review their products and unfortunately the top of the canvas had got stuck in the sticky of the little jiffy bag, the little um, bag that it came in. And I've tried cleaning it off a little bit and then in the end I thought, well, I'm going to be cutting this off anyway. So I've just used a bit of washi tape to just cover over the sticky bit and it's fine. It's actually straightened it out a little bit as well. So, yeah. So that's that all kitted up and ready to go. I hope uh, you've enjoyed seeing this, seeing all the gems and helping me uh, get this prepared. So... Uh, if you have, if you want to press the like button for me, I much appreciate it. Uh, if you want to come back and see this finished and see me having a go at uh, mounting it onto mount board and putting the clock mechanism in, then if you press the subscribe button, oh, put my teeth in, press the subscribe button uh, and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come up. So thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.